that I usually use to go by when I'm scissoring in the underline, I usually start it like just, just slightly below the hawk. So, and again, I'm going to use my thinning shears. And what you do to the inside of the leg, you're going to do the same thing to the outside of the leg. Okay, so you don't want this to be long to the floor in this area right here. Now I want to show that he's got some angulations so I don't want to cut all of this stuff off because it's going to make him look really straight. So this, this right here, the par, um, furthest part of his knee right here, that hair there is usually where that hair drops off there. I usually come straight to that point. Stop. Where this hair right here is. And then from there I'm going to angle up into my tuck up area. And you have to be careful when working on your black and whites and your liver and whites because a lot of times where the black and the white or the liver and white meet, it'll give the illusion that the angulation isn't correct. But you always want to cut it as if it were correct. So this guy, he, he doesn't have a lot of problem with that. But if you get to where you have more white in this area and then it all of a sudden goes to black, your dogs may wind up looking longer in body than they should be. Okay, now my underline, I actually switch and use my straight shears. And, uh, okay. Now, where they have a lot of wave to their coat, this part can be tricky. So I kind of, I wet it down pretty good because every swipe of the comb brings your static right back. But I want to get this to lie as nice and straight as possible. You also want to have him stack as, as best as you possibly can. So you want his front feet standing square, his back feet standing square. Stop. Stop. And what I want to do is you find that last rib or that center part of the dog, and that's going to be where the highest point of your tuck-up is going to be. Now, you tuck up on them is very gradual. You don't, you're not going to make like a real extreme terrier-style tuck-up. So where that rib is there, that's, that's what I'm going to aim for. And then from that point there, I'm going to angle back down into his chest. Now you'll find on a lot of your males, this area right here is where you're missing hair and that's because they pee on it. And the urine, the acidity in the urine ends, ends up breaking a lot of coat. So um, when I'm using a dog for competition, I heavily condition this area um, just to kind of help prevent any kind of breakage and maybe coat the coat a little bit so they don't urinate all over it. Um, another thing that I don't do, which I was originally taught, is I don't shave the private areas on my sporting breeds. So my Cockers, my Springers, my Goldens. I don't go up and shave that area because they are supposed to be a field dog. And when you take that out, not only are they more susceptible to um, burrs and, and bugs and things like that, scratching their, their tender skin that you took all the coat off, but they get bug bites really easy too. So this coat under here also, also acts as a little bit of protection for them. But this coat under here also helps to make up part of that underline. So you want to be careful not to cut all of that out. See, now he's, he's tricky, too, because he's got black to white, so it's kind of hard to see. Just want to get this side, too, so you can hopefully it'll come out right. <laughs> And then the same thing on his chest area. You want to make sure that the furnishings here, so this line right here should continue down and around all the way to the back of the dog. And what happens a lot of times is you have this beautiful chest hair and people tend to forget about it and they don't end up trimming this. So when you've got this all hanging down long here and then this is trimmed up underneath here and this doesn't meet, your dog is out of balance and it's not going to look, like, look right. So, again, you want to kind of get them stacked up. And I never cut any of this stuff up here on the top part of his chest. 
It's just the stuff that hangs way down here. So it's, it's kind of at this longest point here. And I like to use my thinning shears for it. And you can see just by taking the thinners and angling this down, it's just going to give him a, um, a, just a much nicer finished look.